Hello, people. We are back, and the sun is brightly shining. So let's fire these bad boys up. Oh, I guess I already fired them up. Okay, my bad. So, first of you, you just went out, so we didn't miss much, thankfully. But let's see. So if I don't have the lever flipped, it doesn't produce. There we go. And so that's how fast it's going. And that's actually pretty fast, considering we have no scrap going in. And right now it's also filling up these MFSUs. So that's where a lot of our power is going. Once these MFSUs are filled up, it'll go much faster on its own. But I digress. Let's get this bad boy fired up because all of these are running on high voltage. Not super high voltage, but high voltage. And they're safely doing it because of these over overclockers, because of these transformer upgrades. But they have no fuel. Or fuel, I should say. They have nothing to recycle is the better word. So let's give them something to recycle. We gotta recycle a bunch of cobblestone for the rest of eternity. We'll let that fill up, so it'll be producing scrap. Not, oh, no. Not every time, but sometimes. And how are we going to do this? Well, let's see. I think what we'll do is we'll put eight in each one for now. Shoot. Or at least eight in these first couple. This way, we just uh, get a nice, uh, I don't know, we're just going to put eight in them. I have no rhyme or reason. It's just a nice way to split them up, to be honest. Because as you can see, stack of 64 splits into eight, eight times. So there we go. So these are all just going to have eight of them. And then if I need more, I don't know why I would need more. Uh, we can cross that bridge when it gets there, when we get there. But for now, there we go. And because it's going to recycle so darn fast, we're going to anticipate this ahead of time. We're going to add another one. Did I toss out the cobblestone? I might have. Alright, and then filter. There we go. And then let's put a redstone too. As you can see, we have scrap steadily going upwards, so let's check on these mass fabs. And they're just eating up the scrap. So you see, when the scrap comes in, it works much faster. 20 UU already. Okay. So, this mass fab system is just about uh, done, to be honest. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to add another one of these. Uh, may I'll add it on this side now. So, this area is actually a lot shorter than I thought it would be. But I can't. I already split it off. And I already like, did like, the sort of outro thing, so I don't really want to do another one. So I think this is just going to be it, but uh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, let's see, because I don't know if I really want to get started on the next part yet, which would be making these iridium plates, just because I'm not prepared. I don't have the materials in place. I'm going to have them. They're just scattered everywhere through my base. Because if you've seen any of my videos, you know that's just sort of how I operate, just sort of by the skin of my teeth. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we got a bunch of scrap going out. Ooh. Let's see, is it stopping there? Yeah, it's not going any further. Okay, so we're going to need more of them. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to work on adding more of these. Oh, no! Oops. I was a little over ambitious. The Red Morning Star is a very powerful tool, in case you don't know. <laughs> very easy. Oh, you know what? That's what I'll do. I'll show you guys, uh, the basement in this episode. So, let's uh, fill this up first. I don't know why I put that one there. Alright, so, this should be more than enough to power our entire uh, recycling system. So while this is going and filling those up, I'll show you guys what uh, I'm doing in the basement, just because we have a little bit of time to kill. So this is where the rest of my red matter factory is going to go, because if you thought that this was going to be it, uh, I did too. But I decided, you know what, I like making red matter so much because it's so easy to do, and it's a very useful thing to have. Uh, we're going to make it much bigger. Much, much, much bigger. This is going to be a significant investment. Maybe a speed build, who knows. But uh, anyway, I, I don't know about speed builds, because I don't know... 
what kind of music I'm allowed to use to upload to YouTube. Because I actually thought I was using legitimate music that was permitted, that, I, uh, that has basically common freedom for anyone who wanted to use, was what I was, is what was indicated to me. But basically YouTube said, nope, no good. So now I'm a little hesitant to do speed builds. But, uh, let's go back up. Oh, doy. Now, one thing that is beautiful about the Red Morning Star is, if you press C, you can toggle through, and Mega Impact Mode is my favorite, because I can go in 3x3 three three blocks, just go like that, and it just clears out basically 9 blocks at a time, 3x3, uh, three three, which is beautiful for digging out huge areas. Oops, sticky keys just went on. So that's how I'm doing this, basically I'm just doing columns upon columns, and every now and then I get to glitched out. There we go, yeah, that's the problem. Oh no, still glitching out. So it means, basically when I glitch out like that, yeah, it just means that there's a, a block that I did not destroy, but it's not visible for me. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to be the future of this building. It's going to be a very important building to my base, and I never really anticipated it to be this important. But I like it, because it's a beautiful building in my opinion. And eventually, we will fill these up with more solar panels. Uh, maybe make it more dome-like? I say that hesitantly because I just don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, I do have more HV solar panels, so we can start hooking those up. Oh, I don't have many more. I thought I had a lot more than this. But, you know, 13 HV solar powers is nothing to snicker at. So, let's start wiring these. Yeah, we can do, uh, we'll hook up uh, 12 of them right now. We'll have one left over. Because basically this next one is going to be one higher. Because we want to make it a dome-like shape. A dome of HV Solars, which will be pretty cool looking, I think. But uh, that's all I have for now. Because my HV Solar Factory is, like I said, not loaded when I'm doing this. But let's take a look at the scrap. See how we're doing? Ooh, plenty of scrap. Or not plenty of scrap, but plenty of cobble, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, oh, plenty of scrap too. So let's see what these are doing. Yeah, we can make these go faster, but that'll be another project at another time. So let's see, how much UU do we have anyways? Oh, we got a lot of UU. So you use one of those weird items in TechIt, because you can basically do... I don't know, you can make a bunch of stuff with UU, but it actually is the only way to make Iridium ore, which is the only way to make Iridium plates. So UU is the way to go. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, one of the shorter episodes, but let's see, what do we do? We showed you this factory, got it up and running, accomplished, saw the basement, so we know where we're going with this building, accomplished. So yeah, I think this was a pretty good episode overall. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like, check out other ones on my channel, and leave a comment in the description, leave a comment in the description, uh, leave a comment in the comment section uh, if you want to, to see anything specific, you want me to build something in particular, because otherwise I'm just going to do whatever pops into my mind. And I do have plans for that area, but that is for another time when I'm done with this building. I gotta stop doing halfway doing projects, because like, I built this building, and this was going to be like my project for like the next five episodes and then I just sort of didn't like the building and I sort of wanted to demolish it and then I built this instead and this is a much better building but anyways uh I think I already did the outro so that's gonna be it so I'll see you guys all later